The overall training objective is personnel accountability, um, which accounts for uh, lost and missing firefighters, tra tracking, <coughs> excuse me, a tag system uh, so that we can find where people are at, you know, know where they're at ahead of the emergency, and then once there's an emergency, be able to account for them and bring them out. We're also doing some evacuation tones, we're doing some emergency radio traffic, and we're issuing Mayday. We constantly drill on fire ground emergencies, I'd say uh, weekly to monthly, at the shift level. But to have an opportunity like this, where it also includes the live fire and burning of structures, uh, not very often. We don't get this opportunity. We'd like to have the opportunity more, but obviously we have to have an acquired structure in order to do that. Yeah, so there's a few steps involved, but eventually if a, a building or homeowner has a vacant building that they want to get rid of, they have the option of paying for it to be demolished, and then the, the scrap can get hauled off to whatever location is appropriate for it. Another option to help save them some cost for demolition is for us to turn it into a training group. As long as it has value to us for training, then we offer to do that. Now the homeowner, the property owner, is still responsible for all the hazardous materials mitigation. Um, asbestos removal has to be done to the, uh, by the orders of the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality. Um, there's a lot of steps involved, there's a lot of abatements, but once it's been deemed safe and all the paperwork is and the state of Michigan says that we can burn it, then we'll go ahead and burn it. And obviously sure. looking at a building like this, it saves a lot of time and energy and cost in hauling out all that material.